<laughs> Unemployment cut me off like two weeks ago. And you said something about 30 days, but I gotta call you guys. So I'm right, so you're looking, you stuff. exhausted all your unemployment? Yes. Okay, so you need to start working on that modification, right? Yeah, and I went to every temp agency there. I went to go here on Labor Ready. They said they won't have no work to the end of so next month. The other temp place got closed down. Start the modification process right now. That's all I can do. The account is going to charge. Think of it like this. It, it's, it's, a, it's a bill. Child support is a bill. Rent, mortgage, lights, whatever. It's a bill, okay? Just like you eat today, that child got it. So if you stop paying, that child's still going to eat. That's just, you know, clothes are still going to be out wrong. You know, I understand all that. Good. Let's get back right. to that 30-day thing you were doing. <laughs> 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 so, so you so have 30 days. 30 days, you're going to be good for me, right? Right. And 30 so days, you're going to be good for me, right? You know it. So like you our system. What's your last name? In 30 days, you're going to be looking for me, right? 30 days. You're going to be looking for me, right? 30 days. You're going to start. Or if she has a call here, if she has a call here, our system is going to hit in 30 days, or she's going to call saying she's not getting any money. Well, say for which, which will prompt us to act sooner than the 30 days. Say for example, this gentleman right so here. So sheriff coming knocking on my door. No, no sheriff knocking <laughs> on your door. In 30 days. No sheriff is going to knock on your door in 30 days. Whatever they were taking out of this gentleman's check from unemployment or whatever he was paying, as long as he. Ch as long as he's, he shows if he's able some, to some effort, right. something. Will yeah. you guys leave him alone, or will you still go no, after him? What's going to happen if, if, more, if you're able to pay something? You're not able to pay all what you can, but if you're doing odd jobs and you get something, you come down to our office and you make payments. That's fine. So, but you still do your modification because when you do that modification, it shows the court that you did not ignore your right. order. Yeah. You, you, you understood you had a responsibility. Yeah. You did the best that you can, but right mm -hmm. now, because of the economy, whatever the situation. Is you're not working, okay? But you can't, that keeps you out of the contempt status by putting something on that account mm -hmm. each and every week. A dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, whatever you get. I used that to be scared, you know, make some payments. Some payments are better than no payments at all. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you know why you got come knocking at my door? Money order you should bring down and go down to Charles Court. Well, now we get receipts when you make the payments. We get receipts. I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question as we wrap it up. And I like when it gets to the end of the fourth quarter, it starts to get heated up a little bit. Everybody's trying to I appreciate you guys for coming down. And I want to ask you a question. Um, I expect that most of you guys are going to be on the phone with your families. Some of you guys are going to be on the phone with your families. Some of you guys are going to be on the phone with your families. Some of you guys are going to be on the phone with your Half of those men are paying child support. I expect a lot more in here. So you guys are now a little bit more educated or have a lot more questions. Either way, I'm glad you came. This is what we're talking, we're talking about male involvement. We can't build it unless you guys are coming. So, so I thank you for that. But when we talk about child support, we talk about guys that came out of incarceration. We talk about guys that lost their job and their unemployment might have ran out. I'm just asking. Where can we find, or is there some kind of link that child support enforcement has with something else that says, okay, these guys right here are paying child support, they're looking for work. Are there any kind of hookups that they might be able to go to, any kind of links that child support has partnered with, or uh, uh, anyone has partnered with regarding child support um, for men to become employed, at least help become employed, besides paying for work? What, what we've been doing, um, we've been doing a lot, a lot of outreach as far as um, trying to help uh, guys find employment. So in our lobby now, we have um, listings of job, um, job fairs, <coughs> um, different kind of uh, employment. And so, because we're, we're trying to help everybody because the economy is really, really bad. And so, you know, we know if, if, you, if you're not working, you, you can't take care of your, 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 your children. You know what I'm saying? So we are trying to assist people in that. New Haven, that's what they call the New Haven Round Table, which is different agencies, different community agencies, and they get together, I think it's uh, once a month, uh, different um, state agencies, different um, uh, community agencies, and where information is shared, and with um, our um, liaison to that round table, they sh they, um, she brings back that information, and she does um, our lobby, as soon as you walk in, we have a table, and we also now have a, a board set up with uh, different information that comes through. Um, Easter Seals is real good as far as employment. Ex, um, they have they have to me the best uh, employment rate, whether you be an ex felon or, or or whatever. Their training um, <coughs> program is good. Strive is excellent. Um, they have and these are all like free programs. These are all free things. But as 
because we, we all, you know, doing the outreach thing now, as information, as we get information from whatever community service or whatever, we bring that back to our lobby. So when you come in, make a payment. Go to your go to the <coughs> of your lap and look at the table, see what they have on there. Elijah. As you get ready to walk out that elevator, Elijah. look look on that board, okay? Because information is there, okay? And I want you to know that child support enforcement in New Haven is changing. About 10 years ago, 12 years ago, when we first started this mail involvement thing up, we just getting running and started getting a little bit of notoriety. Um, I went to Child Support Enforcement to visit, try to make a partnership with them. When I went in there, keep it real, you've been there for a minute now. Mm -hmm. The walls were all white. I see. You had one lady I up see. in the front, <laughs> and it was that looked like you was walking into, um, um, you walking into, uh, um, um, was there orientation for, yeah. for, for going away? Yeah. 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 You know? yeah. So I had to talk yeah. to them. It's true. It's true. Yeah. So I told him, I said, how do you expect guys to come in here when you can at least have a picture on the wall with the dad and any kid? Yeah. I did the same thing in the halfway house. Mm -hmm. So they are listening. Whether they heard it from me or heard it from someone else. Mm -hmm. I do, I mean, I've known him for a long time. I just met her. I love your spirit. Um, Good person. They're going to they're gonna go back right. and say so right. something. Say that. If you have more <laughs> questions about it, feel yep. free to call. You're going to get, I know you're going to get a card, somebody you can nag about it. Yep. Um, got my card. If you don't, if you yeah. feel threatened, I think one of the things we need yeah. not to be anymore to, yeah. is threatened or intimidated yeah. by it. Yeah. Keep it aware. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I used to be like that. I'm yeah. But you know what? I appreciate you coming. Yeah.